Amen. Hallelujah. Don't you adore him? I have not chosen him. Let me tell you something, beloved. Many folk can look anointed, sound and talk anointed, but they are not anointed by God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he went through seven of Jesse's sons. He asked Jesse, said, now I know the Lord sent me here. There must be somebody. Do you have another son? He's over there on David. Yeah. He's over there, amen, watching sheep. He's on the backside of the mountain, caring for the sheep. He's doing the menial tactics. Hallelujah. And he said, go fetch him. For I'm not going to sit down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when David walks through the door, the Bible says he is a goodly looking young man. Rudy, hallelujah. Right. Amen. In other words, God's favor was all upon him. Smelling like sheep. Hallelujah. Yeah. Dirt underneath his fingernails. Right. The baby of the bunch. Come on, somebody. Yeah. The least likely to succeed. Amen. Amen. Ah, the black sheep of the family. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Come in. Looking like he is anointed. Amen. God said, This is the one that I've chosen. Wow. And just as soon as Samuel raised the horn of the oil, the seal burst, signifying that the anointing of God would fall on uh -huh. David. But now let me understand, help you understand something, beloved. When the anointing, when he was anointed, praise the Lord. He was anointed to be king over all Israel. But he did not assume the throne right away. He got his anointing and went right back out into the field and started keeping the sheep again. Some of you get away from the Lord and try to make it happen. And it's not yet time. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Some of you get discouraged because what you heard God say in your life, you have not seen it come to pass yet. Amen. So you feel that God has forgotten about you. You feel that God, amen, may need a little bit of help. Uh -huh. Oh, but touch somebody and tell them God don't need no help. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
he said, look, ain't no need for all of us to die. He said, I tell you what, you choose a man to come down and fight me. And if he prevails and kill me, we'll be your servant. But if I fall on him and kill him, then you gonna serve us. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Every day for 40 days, this uncircumcised enemy stood and defied the armies of the living God. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Just by chance, amen, Jesse sent his son David to go see about a man, his brothers, who are a man fighting in the king's arms. Go see about them and take them some food and some presents to the captain. And as he comes into the camp, y'all in here, he stands and he hears this thunderous voice, a man challenging and cursing the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen. And he gets indignified about hearing somebody talk of his God. Yes. Hallelujah. You can tell somebody that's on fire for God. Yeah. Because when you are on fire for God, you are not passive about the things of God. Yeah. When you are on fire for God, you don't take insults of God sitting down, y'all in here. Yeah. Amen. When you are on fire for God, you got God on your mind. God, y'all ain't gonna talk back to me today. Hallelujah. But praise the Lord. And then he looks around and says, Who is this uncircumcised? Who is this Negro out here? Amen. Can I preach it like I did? Amen. Who is this dude out here defying the army of God? Praise the Lord. Mind saying this, his brother's here. I can see David. Let me in. I'm getting out. I'm tearing my heart with my bare hands. And his older brother Eli comes to him and looks at him and says, what, what are you doing here? Hallelujah. Look at this. I know the naughtiness of your heart. You just come to see the battle. And where have you left those few sheep that our father had? Praise God. In other words, this Eli, amen, came to intimidate David. Somebody of his amen own family came to intimidate him because he was too afraid to fight and David was not. Can I tell you something? People will try to incite fear in you where there is no fear because they are afraid to move forward. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all ain't hearing me. They are afraid to move forward in the things of God. So they will try to put a spirit of timidity or a spirit of fear in you and then they keep you from moving forward into the destiny that God has called you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And David looks at him and said, what have I done now? He said, is there not a cause? Is there not a cause for me to be a... In other words, I am upset that you ought to be mad too. Amen. Amen. That's right. And it reached all the way to the ears of King Saul about this young, hallelujah, rooted shepherd boy from Bethlehem. Hallelujah. And you see, Saul was a big man. Y'all ain't him. Man, he was taller than any man in Israel. Come on, somebody. So if anybody ought to have been going out there to stand against the giant, it should have been the king. Amen. But the truth of the matter is, God had rejected him. Amen. And I love it the way God begins to orchestrate things. Amen. And bring the right one into the right place. Because see, David was anointed in Saul's room. Praise God. And anytime you lose heart to do what God has called you to do, God will send somebody, amen, in your place. Y'all ain't hearing me. Hallelujah. When that night is not too scared to face Jezebel, amen, God said, that's all right. Go and anoint your life And he's going to be the prophet in your room. Let me get somebody and tell you better do what God told you to do. This morning, and I'm still spiritual 
Lord, I pray. Hallelujah. He was sitting there. <laughs> One of his musical arrangements. Yeah. And that evil spirit, mm -hmm. amen, came on Saul. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And Saul said, I'm going to pin him to the wall. And he reached to the side and grabbed his jaw. <laughs> and he threw it at David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if David hadn't been quick with his feet, glory to God, he would have been pinned up to the wall of David. Yeah. 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 But he said, he making my feet. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can see that. But when the enemy comes in to get me, I get out of the way. Yeah.
<laughs> Somebody say yes. yes. And it looked like that anointing that he got almost 20 years ago didn't count for nothing. Come on and say yes. yes. Does it feel like sometimes the word that the man of God spoke on it, sometimes it feel like it don't count for nothing. Somebody say yes. yes. And then it seems like when you got prayed for, they got worse and still it didn't matter. Hallelujah. Praise God. When the news got back to David, 
then you will wept. Say, oh, how the mighty of God. Hallelujah. One came to David and said, I, uh, I killed so he, he, he asked me, he was actually lying, because the Bible tells us how Saul died. He was lying, thinking that by saying that he did away with Saul, hallelujah, that David, praise the Lord, would give him a reward. Hallelujah. Yeah, he told me to kill him, and I did just a matter of fact. Hallelujah. And David said, yeah, hallelujah. Looked at him and said, Let me ask you a question. How is it that you were not afraid to stretch forth your hand against the Lord's anointing? Amen. Huh? Amen. How are you going to work again and kill somebody that God is anointing? Right. He said, I tell you what, your own mouth has testified yeah. against you. Yeah. Call one of the souls that you follow on that oh, man. They smote him, I believe, under the fifth real grave, God, and he died. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because David understood a principle that you don't touch the anointing of God. Yeah. You let God deal with the anointing of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You don't, you don't have the power or the authority to remove anybody that you don't think belong to. Yeah. It's in the hands of the Lord. Come on, say amen. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. And let me tell you something, beloved. <laughs> Hallelujah. David, glory to God. Hallelujah, became a man ruler over Judah, I believe, for about seven and a half years. Amen, praise God, hallelujah. He became king, amen, over Judah. The elders of Judah, that was his tribe, submitted to him, praise the Lord. Come on and say amen. Get ready to get into my message, hallelujah. Lord, somebody say, you get into your message. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I tell it like it is today? Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And so, praise the Lord, he, amen, gets into, amen, the kingdom of Judah. But Judah is just only one, amen, of the tribes of Israel. When God anointed David, God anointed him to be king over all. And then the first anointing was to recognize him as king. The second anointing, hallelujah, because see, he had three anointings over his life. The second anointing, praise our God, hallelujah, made him king over Judah. In other words, he, praise the Lord, got an anointing, hallelujah, to become a man a ruler, hallelujah. Hallelujah, I want you to understand, hallelujah, that you are about to come into the best season of your life. Amen. The world is going to hell on you. And America is about to go to hell in a handbag. And then the day that the righteous shall shine like the sun. Come on and say yes. Amen. Rise and shine. Amen. For your light has come. Amen. The ghost darkness has come over the land. Oh, my God. 
few things. God said, I'll make you ruler over me. When you learn how to submit and to serve another man, then God will entrust you to be able to rule your own. But the man that cannot submit to somebody else, amen, will never be qualified to have his own. Come on, say amen. If the son don't serve his father, he never qualifies to be a father. Amen. But to be able to serve your father, amen, when your time comes, you can begin to walk into the father. Come on, say amen. For the Bible says you have not had many fathers. The anointing of a father is greater than the anointing of a king. The anointing of a father is greater than the anointing of a leader. The anointing of a father will speak volumes into your life until the third and the fourth generation. Somebody say it. And when you got the favor of your father, when you are the love in the eyes of your father, you better tell God thank you. Amen. Y'all ain't hearing me. Amen, and that is true. Amen, God honors the word of those that have gone on before us. In fact, we are living because they prayed. They're dead and gone, but now we are here. Somebody say, thank God for our forefathers. They might have been laid in the last day again. Good God, we are preaching. Somebody say yeah. 
Yeah. But when it comes time to come to church, yeah. it's a fight. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have time to go to work. Uh -huh. You don't have time to go to school. Uh -huh. But when you come to church, you always got to be late. Uh -huh. That's a spirit of possum. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it's making you a body. You do whatever you want to do, but when it comes to doing the things of God, there's always a hindrance in it. That's a spirit of Python.